Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make an easy, smooth salsa. Now this is my recipe that I've messed around for a while and I've got it to where we really like it. So I hope you enjoy it as well. So let's get started on making this salsa. All right, before we get started on what we're gonna be using today, this is a new knife I got in. It's a Damascus steel knife from Tulo Cutlery. This is their chef's knife. This is a nine and a half inch chef's knife. Well made, nicely balanced, feels really good in the hand. So well, let's go ahead and show you the ingredients that we're going to be putting in this today. I'm actually gonna change up today. I'm gonna to be using some Cape Fear Pirate Candy. This is their candied jalapenos. So I'm gonna be using this instead of regular jalapenos today. So what we're gonna do is start off and I'll be leaving the information below in the show more section. I only I usually start off at about maybe 16 pieces. Uh, these are pre-cut. We're gonna kind of eyeball it somewhere around 16, give or take. Depends on how hot you want it. These are not gonna be as hot because they're candied. So we'll get a few more in here. Just a couple more here. And what we're gonna do is go ahead, ah, two more, two more. We're gonna go ahead and cut these up really fine. So we just wanna go ahead and just kinda, and I'm not a professional knife cutter, but this right here works. So we're gonna go ahead and get this cut up, and then I'll show you the regular ingredients. So we just want it really, really fine. We got our jalapenos chopped up real fine. We'll put these to the side for just a moment bring our bowl over. This is a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. I went ahead and bought the crushed tomatoes because it's the right consistency, I think, for a smooth salsa. So you don't have to worry about, you know, chopping it up or putting it in a food processor. It's all ready to go. So we're gonna add our jalapenos to the tomatoes. And then our seasoning, in this seasoning I've got here, is a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, three quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of sea salt. So we're just gonna kinda put that in there. And now you just wanna kinda stir it around, kinda whisk it really well to get it mixed really good. And I wanna add just a little bit of the juice from that candied jalapeno, just to give it a little extra flavor. Now, this is gonna have a little bit of kick, even though it is sweetened, it's gonna have a little kick to it. Again, I start off at about 16 pieces of that cut up jalapeno, seeds and all, and you can kind of adjust it from there. So we got this mixed up and we want to sit this in the refrigerator, covered up, and you want to try to let it set overnight if you can, and then we'll plate this up and I'll show you how it looks. All right, let's give this salsa a try. Mason is going to give us a try today. He loves my salsa. So we're going to see what he thinks of that candied jalapeno in there today. So Mason, let's give it a try. Let's show him how it looks first. If you can see this, it's a, it's a very smooth salsa. We don't really care for cilantro, um, but we like this smooth, smooth salsa. It's great tasting. Go ahead, Mason. Let's get a little bit right there. What do you think? It's really good. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a try. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I think I actually prefer it with that uh, candied jalapeno. I definitely can taste the difference in the flavor. It does not make it overly sweet at all. It's still got that savory taste to it. It's not overly hot. Just a very good, smooth salsa. I'll leave the information down below for you guys to try it out and let me know what you think. Thanks a lot for watching us as usual, Mason. Subscribe, share, and like. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. God bless.